Welcome back to Uncorked. And today, my special guest is Dr. Simone Seltzer. Dr. Seltzer has been my colleague and partner for over 20 years. Thank you so much for having me, Gary. I can't believe it's been over 20 years. I know, time just flies. Huh? Before we get started, I want to toast. I have a special wine. I have a vineyard in Mendoza, Argentina, and one of our wines is a Chardonnay. Six months in oak and one year in the bottle, so it's a reserve. So let's toast. Cheers. Cheers. And welcome. Thank you. What do you think? It's really good. It's nice and light and crisp. It's really nice, Gary. Great. Glad you enjoy it. So before we get started, I want to show you what my team has prepared. They've prepared six questions, and I'd like you to pick three of the questions. So why don't we start with question number one? Sounds like we're on a game show. Exactly. So why don't you pick question number one? Okay. So let me pick the one on the upper right. This question right here. Okay. Let's pull that off. Simone, patients come in for our services for root canal treatment. What is the top myth of root canal treatment that patients are concerned about? So I think the number one myth would be that root canals are painful, and that's really not the case anymore. Right, so patients come in, they're scared, they're nervous, they've heard horrible things about root canal treatment. What do you do to make the patients feel at ease, and what do you do also to make them, when you do the treatment, that they feel absolutely nothing? So I think the most important thing is to listen to their concerns and then just to answer them and explain to them that, you know, what root canals are, that they're not painful, and then I make sure that I put them at ease. I, you know, I tell them if they need anything to put up their left hand. So this way, the patient really is in control and they feel like they're at ease. So you're empathetic, you know exactly how they feel, and you have a nice bond with them. That makes them really comfortable. So you can do the procedure and they don't really feel anything. And afterwards, they have an amazing experience. Exactly. Empathy is, is number one key. And we have this, all this amazing technology that we have. We have 3D imaging, we have microscopes, we have digital radiography. So when they see all that, you think that helps allay some of their fears as well? I think for sure it does. And now with the new technology, root canals are so fast, it's like getting a filling. Exactly, just like a filling. And that's a great analogy to put the patients at ease. Question number two at the game board. Okay, I'm feeling, I think the one in the middle on the left is going to be a lucky question. Okay, let's check it out. This is a great one, and I know I experienced this as well. What are the biggest challenges that you face in practice today? I think today I'm facing a lot of challenges with COVID. I think a lot of patients are more nervous than they used to be, and you know, coming in, they're just even more anxious than they've ever been. Yeah, and we've been, as dentists, we are so equipped for that, like from day one. We've been through H1N1, we've been through HIV, we've been through uh, SARS, and now we have to deal with COVID. So when COVID hit, we were ready, we were armed, we had all the PPE ready to go, and patients immediately should have felt at ease. So I think that's, that's the case, don't you agree? Yes, I agree with that. And what about when patients come in and, you know, sometimes, you know, they have problems that are very difficult to diagnose. I feel, you know, for me, one of the biggest challenges is diagnosis. I agree with that. And I also feel that patients right now are so nervous and just like stressed that I'm finding that patients are having a lot of cracked teeth. You know, people are grinding and clenching. So we're coming in with, you know, a lot of cracked teeth and hard to diagnose. Right. So we go through our diagnostic protocol, we sit the patient down, we listen to the patient, we go through our tests, and hopefully come to a diagnosis that will, that will help them. Yes. Question number three from the board. Um, let me go with the one on the lower right, the lower right. Okay. Question number three. You know, patients come in, they've been in pain, you know, they haven't slept for maybe a night or two nights or maybe even days. They come to you and they say, you know, doc, just take the tooth out. Isn't it just better to pull a tooth out then and replace it with an implant than to do root canal treatment? You know, I get that question a lot and there's nothing better than your own natural tooth. You know, uh, artificial tooth doesn't replace the look and the function of your natural tooth. So I really try and encourage if, if they have the choice to really save that tooth. Right, nothing beats mother nature, correct? 
Exactly. And I know there's also lots of other options, an implant, which is an amazing option, but at the same time, it takes more time, it's more expensive, and, you know, with your natural tooth, you get the root canal and, you know, you, you save have your, your tooth. tooth. Have your tooth immediately. It's like one and done. You don't Ex have to wait three months for things to heal and another three months for the bone to integrate into the implant. Exactly. Well, I want to thank you for coming to Uncork today. And one final question. My passion is wine. What do you do at the end of the day to unwind? So for me, my passion is my family. I really look forward to my husband coming home and the kids and we all choose a movie. We get into bed, we make a big giant bowl of popcorn, we cuddle and we watch a movie. Well, that sounds like fun because family's everything, right? Yes, it is. Well, I want to thank you for being here and I guess I'll see you at the office tomorrow. Great, and thank you so much for having me. Cheers. Cheers.